good afternoon and namaste to everyone please write in the chat box if i am audible to you and if the ppt is visible to you all Thank you very much. So once again, good afternoon to all the members who have joined in this online webinar hosted by Patleputra Sahodaya Complex on the topic teaching modern science and definitely in a modern way. So my respected teachers, before we start this session, before we go further in the slides and we discuss about what is the modern science? Why I have named it as a modern science? And what are the different modern ways through which we have to understand the techniques of teaching? Definitely, we are not going to uh, discuss about some particular topics because you all are learned people. You all know very much more than me, definitely. But Today I am here just to remind you of some of the latest ways, some of the latest techniques that are now available that we can use while we are teaching our students in the classes, whether you are connecting with them online, whether you are connecting with them offline, it doesn't matter. So the main reason is that one. now why? The answer is few days ago, I was just crawling on my phone and I saw a very short clip in which it shows the difference, which shows that how few things have developed over time. It shows that how people used to travel 50 years ago and how they used to travel now. Like 50 years ago, the means of transport were what we can say the bullock carts, the horses, or if we have to travel, if we had to travel 50 years ago, Hamari Majburi Ojati ki hum log tehel ke jate, padal chal ke jana padta. But now, as we know that we have a lot and lot of means of transports. We own bicycles, we own bikes, we own cars. In our society, there are some people who have their own jets, their own So now we have plenty of means of transport. So definitely, the means of transport have developed in last 50 years. Let's talk about the medical facilities. What has happened? I say 50 years ago, 100 years ago, we would not have imagined an organ transplant or a transplant of a body part. A few months ago, I was reading a newspaper and I saw a paper cutting in which it was mentioned that the doctors of India they transplanted the both hands of a patient who has lost his hand in a severe accident. So I definitely after a long time in a very long gap the facilities in the medicine has also developed. Now let's come to the field of education. What has changed? The answer is very simple. Few topics have been omitted from our syllabus. Every year we get some curriculum that is issued by the authorities and we are obliged to follow that syllabus. We are obliged 
to go through that curriculum and that's okay it's to maintain the uniformity across the country it's to decide that which topic is more important at which level but the way we used to teach the way my teachers have taught me the way i think the teachers of my teachers had taught or the teachers of those had taught were actually the same the one thing that has changed is earlier they used bad quality of chalk and bad quality of blackboards then they shifted to some kind of polished blackboards and some smooth chalk now we have transitioned to green boards or white boards or smart boards and the marker or this is stylus you can say i am carrying one in hand to show you but what do we do see in my school i think in each and every classroom smart boards are there except for three or four sections of a class but 90% of the teachers what they do they just go to the class they open the white board on that smart board they choose the color on the basis of the demand of the student or on their own preference ki bhai unke jo smart board hai unme jo unhone white board open kar rakha hai uske background ka color kya hona chahiye they choose the color of the pen they want and they start writing again the classic way now i am not telling that what they are doing is not good main aisa bilkul nahi keh raha मैं ये भी नहीं कह रहा हूं कि वो जो कर रहे हैं वो गलत है बट वॉट दे आर डूइंग वॉट आई एम डूइंग वॉट यू आर डूइंग इज अटी क्लासिक वे इमेजिन आपको आप अपने शहर में हो आप अपने घर पे हो मोस्ट प्रोबेबली अभी आपको अभी ना पांच बजे जब आप इस मीटिंग से निकलोगे आपको अभी से पच्चीस किलोमीटर दूर आपको आप जहां भी हो वहां से ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर दूर आपको जाना है and uh, for that you are being offered a block cart na na ek bel gaadi aapko offer kar di jaye ya ek tum tum aapko offer kar diya jaye that jaiye see burai to kuch nahi hai aap pahunch jaoge definitely pahunchoge aap 25 km is not a very far distance but the problem is that that is an outdated technology aapko time zyada lagne wala hai aap को या उस बेचारे उस जानवर को एफर्ट ज्यादा लगने वाली है आउटकम्स विल बी डिलेड एंड दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी एज अ टीचर यूज ओल्ड टेक्निक टू टीच द न्यू माइंड सी वी आर इन अ डिजिटल एज एंड द माइंड्स व्हिच वी टीच द माइंड्स व्हिच वी ट्रेन आर actually very conclusive and exclusive i think so when we go to the classroom we have to be fully prepared and again the meaning of fully prepared for this particular session is not only pedagogically aapke paas aapki subject ki knowledge hai i know that आपके पास आपके टॉपिक की नॉलेज नॉलेज है आई नो दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट थिंग बट व्हाट अ टीचर स्पेशली द साइंस टीचर विच अबाउट व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस टुडे यू नीड टू बी प्रिपेयर्ड कि आप क्लास में जब जाओगे यू विल से यू विल शो द स्टूडेंट्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ वे टू कनेक्ट whatever you are teaching them whatever topic you have chosen that technique should be brand new each time every time in every period in every section every year in every session the technique should be brand new again if it's not new make it feel like new that's what we are going to discuss today why this is necessary what are the challenges that you may face everything we will try to cover in this one hour session so again welcome back to the session of 
teaching modern science in a modern way. Effective science education must involve to meet the needs of today's students that I was telling you. This presentation will be exploring innovative approaches of teaching modern science, leveraging technology, project-based learnings, and critical thinking to inspire the generation of scientific thinkers. Now, what are the challenges of traditional science education? Again, I'm not telling you that the traditional method is bad. It's definitely not bad, but it's outdated now. Now you imagine, aap, yaad karo, aap jab 10th or 12th mein the, or jab aap graduation mein the, movie jo banti thi, na, wo 3 ghante, sawa 3 ghante, saadhe 3 ghante ki movies banti thi. Or in movies mein na, ek chota bachcha hota tha. एक क्लासिक मूवी का मैं एक एग्जांपल देता हूं एक छोटा बच्चा होता था उसका जन्म होता था सराउंडेड बाय विद सराउंडेड विद मेनी स्ट्रगल्स बच्चा उस स्ट्रगल को सरवाइव करते हुए ग्रो करता था और लगभग उसकी पूरी जीवन बीत जाती थी उस 3 घंटे की मूवी में ना लगभग तीन जनरेशन दो जनरेशन इस टाइप की कहानियां इंक्लूडेड होती थी but the time passed. Aaj ki jo movies hain, if you see it, aaj ki movies mein jo stories hoti hain, wo kuch dino ki based hoti hain, do mahine, char mahine, do saal, char saal, usse jada aap, koi producer, koi director agar leke jana chahate hain, koi story writer agar usse jada lambi story leke jana chahate hain, to that fails. Nahi chalti ho. The latest example, aap uh, Prabhas, के कारण कल की जो है वो कुछ हद तक आगे बढ़ी बट लास्ट में उसको भी ट्रायल होना पड़ा क्योंकि काफी सारी चीजें काफी बैक में लेके जा रहे थे वो फिर काफी आगे लेके आ रहे थे इट वाज कंफ्यूजिंग नाउ द मोटो ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस इज दैट नाउ द स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द पीपल ऑफ दिस एरा आर नॉट वेरी पेशेंट दे आर नॉट वेरी कीन टू जस्ट Keep observing. They are not ready to be slow paced. Dhimi gati pasand nahi ab. Hana everyone. We want to go faster and faster and faster and faster. Jitni jaldi ja sakte. Hana. Aap mein se bhi 90% log ye umid karonge ki sir, aisa koi technique hota na ki 5 minute mein 1 ghante ki certificate mil jaye. We would have opted that, but abhi milega nahi wo na. So again, the problem here. The students we teach, उनको आदत है reels की, उनको आदत है short videos की, 15 second, 30 second, 1 minute तक में उनका काम हो जाता है. So the first thing, the traditional science education is slow paced. Now, and due to this, the first challenge comes, that is the lack of engagement. The students are not actually engaged when we are teaching in a traditional way. Again, I am not saying that you go and you do fact duties. You just show your videos. You have to blend. You have to mix things. Now, through lectures, through textbook, the children get disengaged. The excitement to study science that fades away. And as a science teacher, my first motto is that a student holds its excitement. And I, as a teacher, satisfy and create new excitements. I excitement ko satisfy the excitement. I connect connect it with it. And I connect it with it. And I connect it new excitements ko, to the further topic. So that I can move forward. This can only happen when you include some modern techniques. For example, if we talk about uh, EVS may ya fir primary science may hi padha jata hai bachcho ko about rotation and revolution. Aap bachcho ko rotation ek saath samjhaiye, rotation samjhaiye in a traditional way. 
बच्चा समझ जाएगा आप बच्चे को रिवॉल्यूशन समझाइए विदाउट इंक्लूडिंग रोटेशन बच्चा समझ जाएगा Now, when you start telling that dharti, rotation and revolution dono karti hai, bas bachcha confused ho jata hai. Kya re baap, ye kaise ho raha hai? Ek baar mein do-do motion kaise? Now, this is where a teacher can show his or her creativity. A teacher gets a chance to engage the students. Hai na? Now, When we talk about the traditional way, traditional way क्या है कि आप बोर्ड पे जाइए बीच में सन बनाइए लिखिए एस यू एन सन ऑर्बिट बनाइए आप इलेक्ट्रिकल उसमें साइड में एक अर्थ बनाइए वहां आप एक्सेस दीजिए और एक्सेस पे आप लिखिए एक एरो देखिए दैट अर्थ इज रोटेटिंग और उसके बाद आप चौक से ऐसे घुमा घुमा के बताइए कि देखिए ऐसे रिवॉल्व भी कर दीजिए एक साथ फॉर्मी वट आई थिंक द मॉडर्न वे इज लेट्स इंगेज द स्टूडेंट्स आप उनको कुछ एक्टिविटीज दे दीजिए आप तीन बच्चों को पकड़िए दो बच्चों को पकड़िए एक को सन बनाइए एक को अर्थ बनाइए एक को मून बना सकते हैं आप एंड उनको एक को रोटेट करवाइए एक को रिवॉल्यूशन के लिए बोलिए एक को रोटेशन रिवॉल्यूशन दोनों के लिए बोलिए एंड टेल देम टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट चालीस बच्चों के क्लास को हम लोग पढ़ाते हैं एंड इट नेवर हैपन्स कि एक बार में 40 के 40 बच्चों को ये बात नहीं समझ आई ऐसा हो सकता है कि 30 को ना समझ आए पैंतीस को ना समझ में आए 40 के 40 को नहीं समझ में आई ऐसा नहीं होता है वी हैव सीन दिस तो जिन पांच को समझ आई उनको पकड़ेंगे उनके उसको डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करवा के वी कैन स्लो देम ना मोर देन दैट ये तो काफी सिंपल से एग्जाम्पल है दैट इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग स्मार्ट बोर्ड इफ यू आर नॉट है कंप्यूटर लैब्स एक्सेस और यू इफ यू आर नॉट एक्सेस टू वर्चुअल लैब्स तब की ये बात है बट इफ यू आर हैविंग एक्सेस टू ऑल दी यू कैन सो देम सिमुलेशन यू कैन सो देम वीडियोज अभी यूट्यूब एंड दूसरे कई सारे प्लेटफॉर्म्स है जहाँ पे मल्टीपल वीडियोज अवेलेबल है दैट टोज द मूवमेंट ऑफ दी प्लानिट अराउंड दिन सो For this particular topic, as an example, आप बच्चों के engagement को increase कर सकते हैं. Moving ahead, disconnect from reality. The next problem. Now, what happens? As a science teacher, आप cell के बारे में पढ़ाना start करते हैं. I think in standard seventh, sixth में आप हल्का सा introduce करते हैं. Seventh में आते हैं. Eighth में एक chapter आता है. Cell को लेकर. Now, आप काफी अच्छे से पढ़ा देते हैं बच्चे रट लेते हैं उसको दे लर्न दाइंटिफिक कॉन्सेप्ट दे मेमोराइज इट बट दे आर नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट विथ इट रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन नहीं मिल रही उनको रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स नहीं दिख रहे बिकॉज दे आर नॉट एबल टू विजुअलाइज द सेल वेन यू से दैट सी योर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल आई एज ए चाइल्ड वॉट आई सी दैट माई बॉडी is made up of five fingers palm wrist bones that i can feel i can touch nails hairs eyes nose but i can never see the cell and that is the problem and when i as a child i tell my student that sir or ma'am where is the cell i cannot see as i as what we get cell is microscopic you cannot see it so naked eye so what happens For me, as a child, cell is just an imagination. It does not exist. I cut the video, but it does not exist. So, what we can do before starting the chapter? Why don't we take our students to bio lab? Why don't we show them? that what is it what you are seeing in the microscope that tiny room like structure which with name as cell so second when a child feels disconnected from reality our task is to reconnect it and as a teacher we have to keep doing it 
after each few minutes so after each five minutes after each 10 minutes you will have to keep connecting them with you you will have to keep connecting them with the topic you will have to keep connecting the topic to the real world so that the first challenge and the second challenge that curtains now let's come to the third part limited critical thinking now what is the reason of teaching science can anyone write in the comment box why do we teach science suppose i am a student and i have planned to become an is officer and definitely i know the syllabus mujhe pata hai ki is officer banne ke liye science mein bahut zyada cheeze janne ki zarurat nahi hai mujhe I need to learn about the social sciences. Science के लिए बहुत ज्यादा चीजों की जरूरत नहीं मुझे क्या आप मुझे बताएंगे मुझे क्यों पढ़ना है साइंस वाई शुड आई एफ प्लीज प्लीज राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स साइंस क्यों पढ़ना है मुझे आई एम वेटिंग फॉर वर्स to know the experimentally proven facts okay next any other response to know the reason systematic knowledge of everything yes definitely systematic knowledge of everything to connect with the real world okay Sorry for the network issue. To develop the scientific temperament, yes, definitely. All the responses are awesome. What about developing critical thinking? do you think science helps in the development of critical thinking yes it does but what happens when as a teacher i go to the class i write the topic i write the sub topic i write the definitions i tell them that how it happens and i do not put some seeds of doubt in that little minds what will happen am i leaving some room for development yes ma'am science helps learning by doing what do you think main class mein jaau main topic likhu main sub topic likhu sub topic se related definitions facts jo bhi hai main sab kuch acche se mention kar do बच्चों को समझा दूं एंड आई आस्क देम अंडरस्टोर्ड डेफिनेटली वी ऑल नो द आंसर इज ऑलवेज यस यस सर यस मैम एंड देन आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक डू यू थिंक do you think that it helps in the development of the child or do you agree that we need to put some doubts ki acha ye aisa hoga to kya hoga aap batao mujhe aap dhoond ke leke aao khud se try karo because for the development of critical thinking you will have to push the learner to think critically it's not going to happen ki aap traditionally us topics board pe likhte jaye aap bachcho ko samjhate jaye formally aur wo khud ba khud critical thinking develop kar le 
अगर ऐसा होता मैं आपको काफी शॉकिंग बात एक बता देता हूं क्रॉस द ग्लोब इट्स अ वेरी सीरियस इशू ऑफ एसिड अटैक्स होते रहता है एंड वॉट हैपन्स विद द विक्टिम्स इज पहले तो जो अक्यूज हैं जो क्रिमिनल्स है वो उन पर एसिड से अटैक करते हैं उसके बाद दो तरीके के लोग होते हैं नाइन्टी परसेंट जो भीड़ होती है वो होती है फोन निकाल के रिकॉर्डिंग करने वाली ब्लॉग्स बनाने वाली एंड दस परसेंट शायद लोग ऐसे मिल जाते हैं जो मदद करने की कोशिश करते हैं और उस कोशिश के वक्त में क्या होता है मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं एसिड अटैक होता है बर्न हो रहा होता है विक्टिम ऑलरेडी तड़प पर रहा होता है या रही होती है एंड व्हाट पीपल डू जेनरली वो पानी ले आके डालते हैं सो so दैट उस बर्न से थोड़ा रिलीफ मिले एंड आई होप आप में से कई लोग साइंस टीचर्स होंगे आपको समझ आ रहा होगा कि क्या होगा अगर एसिड के ऊपर पानी गिराया जाए तो आप किसी के बैग से एक बोतल पानी निकाल के एसिड अटैक विक्टिम के ऊपर पानी डाल रहे हैं उसके घाव के ऊपर यू आर डेफिनेटली डाइल्यूटिंग द एसिड बट वो डाइल्यूशन इतना फास्ट भी नहीं है कि वो एसिड बर्न को तुरंत ही खत्म कर दे इट विल स्प्रेड जो एरिया ऑफ वंड है वो उसको बढ़ाता जाएगा and by the time you dilute it completely वो कुछ ज्यादा ही डैमेज कर चुका होगा दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू टीच देम ट्रेडिशनली वेन स्टूडेंट्स लर्न दैट वेन एसिड इज मिक्स इन वॉटर इट डाइल्यूट एंड वेन एसिड प्लस बेस रियक्ट इट बिकम्स सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर मैं अपनी ज्यादातर ट्रेनिंग्स में ये वाली कहानी कह देता हूं वाई वी नीड टू टीच साइंस इन अ मॉडर्न वे सो दैट दे आर मोर इंगेज देयर स्किल्स डेवलप फुली एंड दे प्रिपेयर फॉर फ्यूचर बिकॉज अगर वो ऐसा नहीं करेंगे ना तो कबूतरों वाली कहानी आपको याद होगी जिसमें कबूतरों का एक झुंड था कबूतरों का एक सरदार था सरदार ने कबूतरों को सिखा रखा था कि देखो कबूतरों हमेशा याद रखना जंगल में जब भी तुम उड़ के जाते हो जंगल में शिकारी आते हैं दाना डालते हैं और फिर जाल बिछाते हैं तुम दाना खाने उतरोगे जाल में फंस जाओगे और ये बात कबूतरों को याद थी कबूतर सारे दिन भर गाते रहते थे कि शिकारी आएगा दाना डालेगा जाल बिछाएगा फंसना मत फिर एक दिन वो उड़ते उड़ते जा रहे थे उनको नीचे काफी सारे दाने बिखरे हुए मिले एक ही जगह सारे खुश हो गए कि आज तो लगता है पूरे झुंड का खाना एक ही बार में हो जाएगा एक ही दिन में एक ही बार में सारे झुंड का खाना हो जाएगा सारे उतरे सभी ने दाना चुगना स्टार्ट किया तभी उनको रियलाइज हुआ कि वो तो जाल में फंस चुके हैं नियम तो याद थे उनको अच्छे से रट्टा मार रखा था उन्होंने बट द प्रॉब्लम वॉज दैट दे वर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट दे वर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन एंड दैट इज वाई दे फेल नो डू यू वॉन्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ फ्यूचर क्या हमें ऐसा फ्यूचर चाहिए जहां पे लोगों को सारे नियम याद हो सारे लॉज याद हो सारे फॉर्मूला याद हो बट दे फेल टू यूज इट इन द रियल लाइफ वेन एवर विद डेफिनेटली नो वी वॉन्ट द फ्यूचर जहां बच्चों को जो भी चीजें सिखाई गई उसके रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन उनको पता हो and we are failing if you are teaching in standard 
7 or standard 8 remember that standard 3 4 5th mein balance diet ke bare mein padhaya jata hai usi waqt unko bataya jata hai that body mein nutrition ki zarurat hai nutritious components ki zarurat hai balance diet ki zarurat hai but bachche 6 7 8 aate aate ye baatein ratta maar ke rakhte hote hain unko yaad hai ki body ko kya kya nuksan pahunchega if they do not get a balanced diet but they do not follow it. So what we need is to engage the students so that they develop their skills fully. And how can we do this? We can do it through interactive classrooms. Kaibar. We have to allow the students to ask questions. I was, I just got a comment that when kids are learning, they ask many different ways of asking questions. Please allow them to ask. Because that is going to be a window of development. So that window only they can see their real life applications. And yes, as a teacher, we need to control and coordinate that. We need to show them the right path. Hands-on activities, we can allow them. Few hands up, few hands-on activities, which are not hazardous in the environment that is safe for the students. We can demonstrate them some real-world applications. And these applications can definitely spark the curiosity of students, as I was telling in the starting of the session, that as a teacher, when I am teaching science in a modern way, what I do, the first is I satisfy the curiosity, the existing curiosity of a student. Then I plant some seeds of doubt and questions to spark a new curiosity in that so that I can lead forward with my topic. Now, we can engage students in some project based learnings so that their problem solving skills can be enhanced. We can cultivate critical thinking by that creativity can be cultivated definitely and collaboration also increased. This is the reason why we organize science exhibitions every year. I think each and every school organizes it. school And we know that when we do science exhibitions, what happens? Leveraging technology in the classroom. When you are in the classroom, when you are teaching students in a class, what can you use? You can use virtual simulations. You can do online collaborations if you are hosting an online class. You can use multimedia resources and you can use data analysis. Now, how it works? Virtual simulations, we all know about this. For example, if you are teaching a student about a topic which includes some experiments that can be hazardous, 
उसमें से कुछ ऐसे गैसेस निकलते हैं दैट कैन बी एज एडस टू दिल्थ ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स या कोई ऐसा कंपाउंड बन रहा है जो हाईली एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन के बाद बनेगा एंड वे डाउट की चालीस बच्चों के आप उस क्लास को अच्छे से संभाल पाएंगे कि विद द हेल्प ऑफ लाइव असिस्टेंट ऑल्सो या हो सकता है कि आप बायो के कुछ ऐसे टॉपिक्स में जहां आपकी जो स्कूल की लेबोरेटरी है वो फुली इक्विप्ड नहीं है उनके लिए नाउ व्हाट इज द सॉल्यूशन द सॉल्यूशन इज वर्चुअल सिमुलेशन यू कैन सो देम सिमुलेशन विच एक्चुअली फील्स वेरी रियलिस्टिक एंड through which students can understand now Uh, for science teachers who want some links of virtual simulations you can simply search on your google web browser about virtual labs you can go to the website of colorado university and for that you simply have to search p h e t and here you will get a lot of pre existing simulations that can be very helpful for you and these simulations are basically for science for each physics chemistry and biology and for computers multimedia resources you can show them some educational videos some kind of animations some interactive visualizations which can bring some scientific principles to the life which can so them the realistic approach of life by using science now if you are using online class means if you are connected to your students through some kind of webinar or virtually you can use online collaborations and for that we have jamboards mentimeter and we have a lot of things data analysis we can use so that we can get real time applications next is project based learning and hands on experimentation first how it goes the first one is defining the challenge make a group of the students defining them the challenge and in that challenge the group the team will identify the real world problem or the question and they will investigate the second one is designing the solution the team of the students they collaborate to develop a hypothesis they design the experiments and the prototypes to address the challenge and the final one is testing and iteration the students their team they collect the data they analyze result and they refine their whole solution process through an iterative process so this is how an hands on experiments or project based learning can go on next is fostering critical thinking and problem solving for this we can use different approach you can use different strategies the first one is inquiry based learning in which we can encourage our students to ask questions we can encourage them to explore the hypothesis we can encourage them to think critically about the scientific concepts we can allow them to ask questions and before that we must be ready for some questions that are definitely going to be out of syllabus and we need to satisfy their curiosity and realign them to their own curriculum and syllabus next is 
problem solving strategy means we have to guide the students in developing systematic approaches to identify and solve complex problems so that definitely they become ready for the real life problems and the last one is analytical thinking to which we promote the ability of the students to analyze data interpret results Integrating real world applications and case studies. This can also be very helpful. Like the one I was telling about the acid attacks. When we are teaching the chapter acid, bases, and salt, or whenever we are uh, teaching about the neutralization reaction in science and chemistry, we can show them some case studies, some statistical data, which will not only help in developing the knowledge of that particular reaction in a practical way they will also be more sensitive they will also be more responsible for the society now how to integrate real world applications and case studies the first the relevant context we can connect the scientific concepts to the real world issues and challenges that students can relate to like the one i remember about cpr cpr ke bare mein hum sabhi jante hain most of us we, we do tv pe advertisements aate rehti hain movies mein kafi zyada dikhaya jata hai isko promote kiya jata hai health clinics lagaye jate hain awareness camps lagaye jate hain aur cpr ke bare mein logo ko bataya jata hai but again what happens आज भी एट अ पब्लिक प्लेस अगर कोई फेंट होता है कोई अगर बेहोश होकर गिर जाता है डू यू नो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग पीपल डू पानी छिड़को मुंह पे वेन एवर दे सी की उनके दांत जो है वापस में स्टिक हो चुके हैं द वैक्यूम हैज क्रिएटेड इन द विंड पाइप ऑफ द लंग्स और एयर फ्लो नहीं कर पा रही है लंग्स में दे आर चोकिंग चम्मच से लेकर उनके दांत छुड़ाए जाते हैं आगे भी या वैसी ही कोई चीज है कोई लकड़ी का टुकड़ा मिल जाए कोई चम्मच मिल जाए आज भी लोग मोजे सुंघा रहे हैं उनको प्याज सुंघा रहे हैं सड़े हुए एंड दे एक्सपेक्ट कि ये चीजें काम करनी चाहिए एंड दीज थिंग्स कंपेलस टू इमेजिन हाउ वेल वी आर बींग टॉट and these things should compel us to teach her teach us uh, to teach our students more nicely so that unke samne jab ye conditions jaye na to pani sada hua pyaaz moje aur chamch ki jagah sabse pehla dimag unka cpr par jaye and they must be knowing the right way of doing the cpr so that they can save the life when they see it in danger now case based learning we can inspire or motivate our students to explore some case studies that illustrate how scientific principles are applied in various industries and fields we see aaj hum hum log dekhte hain youtube pe bhi si kai sari aisi कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट हैं जहां के साइंस टीचर्स काफी इनोवेटिव वेज यूज करते हैं टू टीच वेरी सिंपल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ साइंस फिजिक्स और केमिस्ट्री और बायोलॉजी 
वी हैव बिकम वेरी हैप्पी व्हेन वी सी दिस क्योंकि हमें पता होता है कि क्या हो रहा है वहां उस क्लास के जो बच्चे हैं वो बड़े खुश दिखते हैं काफी अमेज्ड दिखते हैं वी आल्सो फील इंस्पायर्ड वी आल्सो फील प्राउड दैट ही इज आल्सो अ साइंस टीचर आई एम आल्सो अ साइंस टीचर ही और शी डेफिनेटली बट डू वी थिंक दैट यस आई विल आल्सो डू दिस इन माय क्लास ओनली whether i am teaching in school or in coaching or i am taking a private tuition class i'll be doing it i'll be showing the students the real life applications i'll be showing him or her a case study that will relate any particular scientific approach with the real life a very few of us do this and this percentage needs to be increased more and more the last is community engagement we can collaborate with local organizations businesses and experts to provide hands on learning opportunities if it is available nearby your school so that they can learn in a more proper way next is promoting students engagement and collaboration first through cooperative learning next to student centered approach and last is the diverse perspectives now what is cooperative learning by fostering teamwork and peer to peer learning through group projects and discussions ye hum log karwate hain again but that is limited and मोस्ट ऑफ एस आर कंपेर्ड क्योंकि हम लोग काफी अगर ज्यादा देने लगे तो फिर वी फेस रेपरकर्सेंस फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स फिर पेरेंट्स आते हैं कि पढ़ाते कम है सिर्फ प्रोजेक्ट देते रहते हैं सो हियर वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ बैलेंस ये चीजें इन अ बैलेंस्ड वे आगे बढ़ती रहे नेक्स्ट इज स्टूडेंट सेंटर्ड अप्रोच एम्पावर स्टूडेंट्स टू टेक एन एक्टिव रोल इन देयर ओन लर्निंग and exploration of science topics scientific topics respected teachers uh, as a science teacher uh, what i feel we should understand that a science class should not be a silent class it should never be a silent class if a teacher of science is taking a class of science he is discussing He is delivering a speech on a topic. He is trying to make students understand about a very important topic. That class should not be silent. Because what I believe, if the class is silent, the learning is zero. They are not understanding. They are just listening. उनको शायद आपकी आवाज अच्छी लग रही है, उनको कहानी अच्छी लग रही है, या वो आपसे डरे हुए हैं. but they are definitely not learning the class of science should be full of curiosity it should be full of questions bachcho ke dimag mein hona chahiye when you start the topic when you start speaking about that topic the questions should start coming ki sir ab kya hoga aage kya kaise hua kyun hua kab hua because every science teacher in fact every teacher will agree science is the subject where you can answer why for each question where you can answer how for each question it is not possible for each and every subject or language but it is possible for science because science is a systematic study of things and if you are not able to answer why or how it means that discovery is yet to be made that answer will come in future but it will definitely come so a science class would never be silent so whenever we are conducting a science class that class should be based on student centered approach we should be at a pace matching with the student space or we should work so that they match 
व्यर्थार पेस दोनों में से कोई एक चीज तो हो जानी चाहिए या तो आप उनके साथ चलो या उनको आप अपने साथ लेके चलो हाउ एवर द टाइम अलाउज द सिलेबस द करिकुलम अलाउज बट दिस इज टू बेटर नेक्स्ट इज डाइवर्स परस्पेक्टिव इनकरेज स्टूडेंट्स टू शेयर देयर यूनिक बैकग्राउंड एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस इन रिचिंग द लर्निंग इन्वायरमेंट वन मोर थिंग साइंस टीचर्स आर मैजिशियंस and a magician should always keep showing his or her magic so you will have to opt diverse perspective you should be unpredictable aap class mein ja rahe the students should not predict ke acha aaj is topic ka class hai sir to aayenge bas board pe likhenge jayenge sir aayenge ye wali experiment karayenge chale jayenge it's not it should not be happening change it keep changing it keep modifying it use different experiments use different activity use different case studies for different learners and it benefits both ways it will benefit for you it will benefit for the child for the learner also implementing inclusive and equitable teaching practices that includes accessibility that includes representation culturally responsive teaching and inclusive pedagogy now whenever we are moving forward to teach students in a modern way we must ensure that all students have equal access to learning resources and accommodations aisa nahi ho sakta ki 40 bacche hain unme se 20 ke paas एक्सेस है इसके पास नहीं है तो यू आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड यू कांट वट एवर टेक्निक वट एवर टीचिंग प्रैक्टिस यू आर यूजिंग इट शुड हाईलाइट द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डाइवर्स साइंटिस्ट एंड रोल मॉडल्स टू इंस्पायर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स जिनके भी थोड़े बहुत भी अगर योगदान है उन साइंटिफिक discoveries me that needs to be highlighted and again you have to find the way to highlight it and it should be highlighted in a way that it inspires the students like when we teach dalton's atomic theory in standard 9th i always tell my students that dalton started teaching when he was at the age of 12 when he was 12 years old he had started teaching maths and science at a school of his village but i tell this in a way that students find it interesting they do not find it ki are 12 saal ki umar mein unko kya hi aata hoga fir to jaake wo buddhu banate honge bachcha log ko bachcha log khelne lagta hoga unke sath it should not be happening next is culturally responsive teaching we must incorporate diverse perspective and connect scientific backgrounds to students cultural backgrounds it should not conflict culturally and this is a very common mistake which we do as a science teacher or a society a person of a society who thinks that he or she is too much developed scientifically what we generally do we contradict culturally hum log culture ko seedhe seedhe na bol dete hain we should not be doing that and i am not talking about any particular culture or religion it applies on all chahe wo koi bhi culture ho chahe wo koi bhi religion ho chahe wo kisi bhi community ki baat ho we should always always respect it and we should represent our scientific discoveries the concepts in a diverse way but the way should be culturally accepted and last is inclusive pedagogy we should employ teaching strategies that cater to different learning styles and needs because again we have different types of learners in our class now as a science teacher how can you do a professional development for yourself continuous learning is the key you can 
use different resources, different platforms to keep yourself updated. You can keep learning continuously. You can take help from your colleagues, from other science teacher, from the nearby schools. You can discuss challenges from, from one another so that it reflects the challenges, it reflects the ideas and many more things. You can use educational resources and definitely there are a lot and lot of mentorship programs which will definitely help you in your professional development as a science teacher. So this was the lecture part from my side on the topic teaching science in a modern way. Thank you very much for joining this session hosted by Patliputra Sahodhya Complex. I am very thankful to the Sahodhya Complex for giving me this opportunity to host this session as a resource person of you all. You have been a very nice audience and a very cooperative mentor. So thank you very much. Uh, teachers, I am uh, watching the chat box. If you have any doubt related to the topic, you can simply put your doubt in the chat box. I'll try to answer that questions for you.